All right, what's up, everyone? We are live. Welcome to our weekly live stream with the 203 K Way Group. I'm Matt Percaro. I'm the founder of the 203 K Way. Go ahead and let me know where you guys are from in the comments. It's always again, again, good to see where everybody is hailing out of. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this show on the road. Who here is um, excited to learn about a couple, um, you know, low cost strategies to find some deals? You know, let me know in the comments. Who here is is having trouble finding stuff right now with with the market? Let me know. Comment me if this is something where, uh, you know, you're, you you find yourself running into this, right? MLS is only giving you a certain amount of options. Um, you know, prices are going all, all crazy. Who's dealing with this right now? Anyone looking for properties right now dealing with that? Let me know in the comments. Finding the deal is sometimes one of the hardest things, um, especially in this market like this. And even when, you know, I, I was talking to someone yesterday and, you know, the funny thing about this is like people think that for some reason, um, you know, obviously with the cost of everything and, and the way things are going right now, that things are hard now. 10 years ago, there was their own set of challenges, right? Maybe you could find cheap for properties, right? But you couldn't get lending for it. You couldn't get a loan for it, right? Guys, the reality is, is like in these markets right now, if you're going after competitive markets, that's a good sign, right? Because these competitive markets, don't let that deter you. That's a good sign because that means that people are wanting to live there and will be wanting to live there long term. Real estate investing is a long-term game. This isn't a short-term game. You know, I just made a post on Instagram earlier um, thinking about the rent, the flips that I did over the last couple of years that would have made monster rental properties. And, you know, the, the sad thing is, is that, you know, I didn't, I wasn't thinking in those terms, right? I wasn't thinking in the wealth building term. Flipping is a job. Flipping is just something that you're doing just to get a little bit of money. But what you're doing here, especially if you're following me in this group, you want to capitalize on these loans just to get your start and also take advantage of the ability of what these two, 203k FHA loans allow you to do, which is allow you to buy multifamily properties. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of some of the different strategies that you could take advantage of to really give you a leg up in these competitive markets where you're not seeing much stuff on the MLS and how to really, really cater to what's out there and prove to yourself that you can get out there and find stuff even when um, it doesn't seem like there's an, enough out there. So um, again, let me know in the comments if you've been finding yourself uh, looking for stuff and you can't find anything because I, we've all been there. And, you know, my wife and I, we actually just found a property we found off market. And this is one of the ways, you know, one of the things that we were dealing with, right? We were looking for a little while and, you know, I reached back into my, into my, um, into my knowledge of real estate investing. I'm like, why the heck am I going to all these open houses and, and getting into bidding wars and things when there's other ways to find properties, right? And there's ways to find these off market and going direct to seller. Um, that is always going to be the, the best way to do this. So finding deals is hard. It's hard. It was hard five years ago. It was hard 10 years ago. It was hard 20 years ago. It's going to be hard in five years. It's going to be hard in 10 years. Because remember, you have to think about what you're doing when you're talking about finding a deal. A deal is something that's priced better than everything else in the market is, okay? So wherever the market's at, even if it's high or if it's low, you still need to find something that isn't just in the ordinary, guys. Deals were never found just going on MLS or going on Zillow and seeing something listed really low that you were able to snatch up at a discount with no competition. That's not the way these things work, guys. Deals are not found. Deals are made, right? I have a shirt that says it. It is, it is 100% true. And remember, you are looking for a deal. You're not just looking for something that is just sitting out there. If deals were just grew on trees, they wouldn't be deals, right? Because they wouldn't be they wouldn't be the exception to the rule. You're looking for the golden nugget. And to find those golden nuggets, you have to have a lot of different strategies and you have to be constantly looking in every different direction, every different way and every different strategy and every different way that you're keeping yourself completely omnipresent. So as these opportunities do come into your path, you take advantage of them. And the way you find these, these nuggets of value is by searching everywhere. Does everybody agree that if deals were easy, they wouldn't be deals? Does everyone agree? Please let me know. So the first thing I want to talk about is what's already out there on the MLS. So the, the next thing you want to look into, and the, and the first thing everybody here should have, if you don't have it already, is setting up alerts. Okay. And what I mean by alerts is going to proper, you know, websites like Zillow, Redfin, uh, you know, Z Z Zillow, Redfin, um, you know, the regular MLS have your agent set up alerts, right? 
And all these alerts should be set up to be looking for anything and everything that would hit your buying criteria. Now, if you're following the 203K way and you're following what we're looking to do, we're looking for any type of fixer uppers, you know, you're looking for handyman specials and you can put these keywords in, right? Um, handyman specials, you want to look for the keyword TLC, look for the keyword 203K. Sometimes realtors that know what they're doing, they put in, hey, you can use a 203K loan for this. Um, you know, uh, you could say contractor, uh, renovate, you know, at, you know, as is, all these different keywords that you put in there. And now you could also do this on Craigslist, okay? Because sometimes things get posted on there for sale by owners on Craigslist. You could even go one further and do foreclosure.com. That's a paid service, but still worth it. All right. But what you want to do is you want to look for these keywords and you want to see anything and everything that hits the, that hits the market. Guys, if you're looking for two to four unit properties, you know, add that as a search function. Okay. Set up these alerts so that you're able to make sure that anything and everything that does hit the market, regardless of, regardless of if the market's hot or not, you still want to be looking at everything because in the very least, it's going to give you information about the market so you can learn to identify these properties. So these alerts need to be set up. You need to set them up on Zillow, all the websites, the MLSs, Craigslist, all these things. You set up alerts that any new houses that come into your buying criteria in your market, in your county, in your state, or wherever you're looking for properties, that you are seeing every single one hit your email inbox. And then you analyzing those each deal, okay? You want to look at each one and run the numbers on each one so you can identify if they have potential or not, where they're listed right now. Is this helpful, guys? You know, can, can every what do you what do you guys think? Would this be would, would do you think by setting up these alerts, you're already gonna get enough properties to be analyzing them weekly? Guys, inventory is not as low as it was a year ago. It's definitely caught up a little bit. It's not where it was, it's inventory is going to remain low. But it's very different than where it was a year ago. You're seeing a lot more houses get listed each week. You know, for a, for a year, it was it felt like nothing got listed, right? Now you're seeing houses list every other week, every week, um, a good amount coming online. So, you know, it's it's back to what I remember seeing before before the pandemic. Okay, so so that's the first one, guys. Okay, the second one I want to get into uh, in a second here is so, you know, I think. One of the things that people don't understand is that when you're looking for multifamily properties, right, you want to you want to make sure that these that these sellers have a reason to sell, right? And and there's a lot of different reasons on why they should sell, right? In order to find a deal, there, there has to be a reason that they're selling, right? And one of those reasons could be that they're having trouble renting out the property, or they're not, you know, they don't have it in the budget to do renovations, okay. So another thing you could do is go into, and this is a great one, but set up Facebook Marketplace. Go on Facebook Marketplace and or Craigslist. And this is very specific to people that are looking for mother, like house hacking scenarios where they live in one unit, rent out the others. People that, those of you that want to live for free, if you want to live for free and you're looking to house hack, um, you know, you're looking to buy a multifamily property. This is perfect for you. And what you do here and, and, and is what you do here is you look at all the active rental listings and obviously focus on the ones where it looks like they're a little more banged up, but you don't have to, right? Look for the house, anything that looks like it is not part of an apartment building, but something that is a rented apartment. Maybe it's a mother daughter. Maybe it's, you know, there, there's a lot of different options for that. Okay. And ultimately what you want to do is call up call the landlords ask if they're if they have any interest in selling guys if, if these landlords are having hard times maybe renting something out or maybe they you know maybe you just are going directly to the source you don't know what situations they're in if you look at Facebook marketplace you look at Craigslist again setting up alerts and seeing any any rentals that hit any uh, apartment listings that hit the market in your area, especially if they look like, you know, they're not the nicest apartments, um, you know, they look like they need some work and everything, call the landlords, okay? Ask them, ask them if they had any interest at all at selling. Now, most of them probably won't, but there's a lot of nuggets in there. And I know that there's a lot of people, I haven't done this myself, 
but this is something that I know a lot of people do. And I've heard good things. If you follow the FI couple on Instagram, they're, I've become friends with them over the years. They're, they're, they have a great Instagram account. This is how they find a lot of their deals. Actually, I think the last two deals they found were through this off market, right? So this is a really, really interesting um, and, and, and um, low cost. It doesn't cost anything to do this, right? Way to get more deals under your mouth. Anybody hear about this? Is it, is, is it, does this sound like a good idea to anybody? Let me know in the comments if you if, if this is something that you've heard of before, maybe didn't hear of before. It's always good to see, uh, you know, what you guys think on on some of these things here. So the next one I want to go into is, uh, and I don't know why it keeps doing this, but I want to keep the text nice and 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 big so you guys can see it. Um, so the next one I want to do is is another no cost one, and 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 I think it comes down to. Um, getting to what, what really this is. So, so some people tell you this all the time. Okay. This next thing I'm going to tell you is, is something that you get told by people over and over and over again. And I have to say for years, I didn't really understand what it meant. You know, for years, what I understood it at was, was like what they tell you in school as to what this next thing is, but it, it was never, it never really made sense up until I started doing it myself. And my mentor taught me this strategy um, that is super, super beneficial. Um, this is how I got most of my deals, um, most of my flip deals. And it's something that is 100% underutilized and nobody actually does the right way, okay? So um, this is something, again, that that is, listen to the way I, I describe this and, and take note on the ways that you should actually do this the right way. Okay. What I'm talking about is networking. And I'm sure you're watching this right now. You're like, Oh, networking. It's, oh, it's the worst. It's so hard. Like, what do I have to go? I got to go to local RIA groups and pass my card out. No, that's not networking. Networking is actually actively building relationships. Okay. So Actively building real relationships is very different than just going to a networking event and handing your card out, which is the way they teach you it in school. If you go to a career fair, they call that networking, or you go to like a local business meetup and everyone, everyone's just talking about themselves and everyone's going there with one thing in mind, right? What's in it for me, right? What's in it for me? What's in it for me? What's in it for me? Okay. And there is no benefit to that. Okay. But the difference is, is when you network, and you, and you do it to actually build relationships, relation, I can spell, right? Build relationships, actual, meaningful, actual relationships, right? You want to actually build relationships with people to the point where within a couple months, they know exactly who you are. They know what you're looking for, and they know the benefit of you working with them, okay? So what you want to do is go on, go on, you know, Redfin or Zillow or realtor.com. Okay. And search up all the properties that are listed on the market. Um, look for all fixer upper properties. Look for listing agent. Call the listing agent. Let them know what you are looking for and let them know you'll work with them if they give you the deal, if they send you, send you the deal. Guys, I can't stress this enough. This is the most important thing that you could possibly do, whether you are looking for your first deal or your 10th deal or your 50th deal. You want to make sure that every realtor in your market that is selling fixer upper properties or any property for that matter knows exactly who you are, what exactly you're looking for, and knows for sure that you are going to give them the business and you are going to make sure that you reward them for them sending the deal to you rather than anybody else. If you call them and you say, hey, listen, I'm in the market for a fixer upper property. I'm looking to buy a two to four unit. Anything? Is there anything that you have available? They might say no, they might say yes. Most of them are gonna say no, say, okay, well, if anything comes up, what would be the best thing? You know, How can I stay in front of you? Or what would be the best idea um, to make sure that if anything comes your way, you keep me in mind, right? And you let them know that. And then what you do is that two weeks later, three weeks later, you call them again and you say, hey, you know, I'm still looking, Any, you know, anything come up? And then that second call and that third call, they actually really remember who you are. And now you're a player, right? Now you're someone that they're like, oh, wow, this person's really interested in finding a deal or making a deal. 
Okay. And that is where it really comes in. And what you do is you take notes about the conversations you have, you build rapport with them. You really let them know that you're a person that actually cares, cares about what they're doing. You want to hear about how their world's going. How is everything going with their business? Is there anything you could do to help? You know, is there any way that you can make any refer referrals or anything like that? Any connections that they need? Actually building networks and going to do that by just looking at all the listing agents that are on the um, you know, all the listing agents that are, that are listed, right? You have multiple realtors on your list that you're looking for multiple properties. Getting yourself out there is going to be the best thing you can possibly do because real estate's a contact sport. Someone said that recently, and I remember hearing it years ago, and it's so true. You have to make contact with people. You have to be out there. You cannot just sit on your butt and browse Zillow all day and never place an offer, never network with realtors, never get out there, never go see properties, never go meet realtors, never get out on the street, never go meet contractors, consultants, other realtors. You can't make it in this business if you're not networking. Okay. So that's the second, that's the third thing. And again, I say that this is probably the most valuable one I'm giving you here. Um, is anybody actively doing this right now? Or just let's, let's put it this way. Do you think if you call 10 realtors a week, that that wouldn't tremendously help your ability to find something in the market. If, 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 if you call 10 realtors a week, let's call it 20 realtors a week. You make connections with 20 realtors a week and you let them know that you're looking for something specific. You don't think that they're gonna send you something rather than somebody else. Who here thinks that? Who here thinks that if you, if you would connect and start networking with realtors out there, put more of an effect on these realtors to start sending you stuff that comes their way. Even if it's you knowing something just a day or two before it comes out. They say, hey, you know what? I remember, you know, when, when something comes through in their office and they know it's a multifamily property that needs some listing, boom, they're going to think of you immediately. And what they're going to do is they're going to go call you and they're going to be the first and they'll be like, hey, listen, this is coming on the market. And maybe they have a little insider information on it that you can capitalize off of. Making these relationships, this is a, this is a people business. This isn't stock trading. You're not hiding behind a computer. You need to get out there, okay? And this is one of the other things. Are these helpful, guys? How, how are we doing? How is everybody doing? Is, is one through three? Is this, is this helpful? Are people taking notes? Or do you guys agree that this is, um, is this beneficial to you? Again, I just want to make sure that this is something where um, you're seeing the benefit in this, because listen, if you're not seeing the benefit in this, then, you know, I won't give you four and five. <laughs> I just want to make sure that this is making sense. And, and you guys are liking this. Everybody liking it? All right. Awesome, guys. So again, the, the promise here was low cost, right? And the next two things I'm going to tell you are definitely low cost. This beats sending out mailers. This beats hiring a, a cold calling team or something like that. But, you know, these are the next two things that I would do if I was if I was setting myself up to find something. So um, to find deals. Now, you've heard me say this before. And the reason I say it so many times um, and the reason that I keep saying this is this is how me and my wife just found our property. Okay. This is exactly how me and my wife just found our own property. We locked it up under contract. We're in contract right now. I'm working on getting the renovation estimate done. We're looking to do another, another renovation loan on our forever home. Okay. We were, you know, this is something we did not deal with. We not didn't, we didn't deal with realtors. We're going direct to seller. We're getting a great deal on it. I'm not going to really disclose the numbers yet until it's hundred percent closed, but we're making a great deal on it. The house down the block sold for $50,000 more. And then they knocked it down. It was a smaller house. So we're already ahead of the game. We're working directly with the seller, no bidding war, no nothing. We're going direct to it and we're going to close way faster. Okay. And we did this because we drove our de desired neighborhood, looked for houses that looked like they needed work or just a little dated, something that we could build equity into. In this case, it was an older lady. Um, her husband had just passed away and she's going into an, uh, a senior living facility. And, you know, it's a house that is in good condition, decent, decent shape, just needs to be updated. Right. And that's exactly what me and my wife were looking for, for our forever home. And that's exactly what we're getting. So, you know, the reality of it is, is that it was done with this way, right? We, we, we were getting tired of going to the MLS and MLS wasn't, you know, everything that's out there is a ton of competition, but when you're going direct to seller, you don't have the competition because nobody else is, is nobody else knows that the property is available. 
okay? And because of that, you're able to have the conversation with the seller, you're able to learn what they're looking for and how you can help them. And then you come to an agreement and you get it under contract, right? Guys, you get a free trial if you do the Deal Machine link. Now, guys, you can either use Deal Machine, oops, could use Deal Machine or just pen and paper. Guys, if you want to, don't want to use Deal Machine, Deal Machine is you give you you get a free trial if you go through my link. It gives you thirty free mailers or like fifty free skip traces or hundred free skip traces if you use my link. Um, and then after the after the free trial, I believe it's like seven days or fourteen days. After that free trial, um, it's ninety dollars a month or ninety five dollars a month, whatever it is. Um, you know, if you do that for two, three months, add a whole bunch of properties in your network and start mailing to them or start cold calling them like we did. Um, you're going to find a lot of stuff that nobody else is looking at. And these are properties that are obviously distressed, obviously need work and are perfect for 203k loans. Right. And what you could do is you could also, if you don't want to do this, if deal machines are great app, because what it allows you, what a deal machine allows you to do is allows you to drive neighborhoods. It tracks where you're driving. And then once you see a house that you like, you tap, you see it on the map, you're looking at it on your phone. It's like a GPS. You see it, you tap the, you tap the house, you add the property and it immediately finds you the ownership info. And you could right there, send them a postcard right that second and it sends them the postcard. Or you can get their ownership information or their phone number right there. And you could direct call them, say, hey, are you looking to sell? Okay. So you're able to do all these different things right from the app. Now, if you want to do it the old fashioned way, you could write down the addresses or what you could do is do sticky notes. Okay. Get a big sticky notepad, one of the bigger ones, you know, one of the bigger ones you could write a little more on. Just say, Hey, are you interested in selling? Um, uh, you know, I would love to purchase your house if you're interested from Matt and get and call or text and put your phone number down. That's it. If you don't want to do that, go up to the house and stick sticky notes on the house. Okay. These are houses now that are perfect for you, right? Because they're in the, the neighborhood that you're looking for. You're knowing you were looking at it and you're knowing, okay, this property needs work. Okay. Now I know this is going to be a good thing. If I can get it for a decent price that I could build equity into instead of losing equity, like everybody's doing by purchasing MLS properties right now with high competition. Um, so, so this is the second thing guys, again, this is exactly how me and my wife just found the property off market and bought it below value. Okay. For our forever home. This is exactly what we did. Okay. And then this is exactly what you're going to be able to do. So this works. And we bought, this is in, arguably one of the hottest, one of the hottest markets right now in New York, Long Island, New York, highest cost of living in the country, top three. I was able to get this in a, like from when we found it to when we got into it in a month or two. Okay. So it, all it really takes is just doing it. Okay. Nobody wants to do the work. This is how you find deals. Okay. Last but not least, what I want to leave you off with is Again, another low cost strategy, um, PropStream, okay? Use PropStream. PropStream can pull lists for you of any type of criteria that you want, okay? PropStream allows you to get data. You can look at whatever area you wanna say and say, hey, PropStream, give me a list of every multifamily property, two to four unit property that I can buy, um, every quadplex, multifamily, or small multifamily, quadplex, triplex, or duplex in this area that has a senior owner. OK, so older people, you know, have them set that up, set up that alert, you know, set up that list, pull the list. And then right there in the, in, the, in the thing, you could skip trace it. Skip tracing is usually 10 cents a record and you could very quickly get, you know, a couple hundred numbers. OK, so prop stream, you pull lists of, of your criteria. So, for example, you, you want to look for uh, two to four unit properties with equity, okay? You skip trace the list and you could do it right there in Prop Machine. You take those and call the phone numbers. Ask if they have any interest in selling. That's it. Guys, it's not complicated. It works. Cold calling absolutely works. Cold calling absolutely works. I've been doing it myself. I've gotten leads from it for my, for my forever home. The thing is, is like, they didn't fit my criteria. The one that fit my criteria was my driving for dollars lead. Okay. But this, this stuff works guys. And you don't have to do a lot. I did not do a lot. This is not like, I wasn't like, I, I, I have a lot of other things going on. I have my other businesses going on. This was something that I was doing just here and there. Okay. 
But here's the thing, when you actually commit to it and you actually do it, you're going to be, you're going to be very surprised on how quickly it works because again, nobody else is doing this or very few people are doing this versus if you go to MLS and if you start offering on properties that every freaking Tom, Dick and Harry is offering on, yeah, then you're going to have a lot of competition. Then you're going to get very frustrated. Okay. Now, listen, you know, this first one with the alerts, this is still going to give you alerts on what's listed, but here's the thing, guys, at the end of the day, in my inner circle, people that I work with, everything like that, most of the properties that everybody's still finding, even in this day and age with, 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 with what the market's doing, still people are getting deals off the MLS. At the end of the day, you just need to analyze deals and make, make offers, as many offers as you can, because at the end of the day, it's going to take many of these to find an opportunity. And again, this was no easier five years ago. This was no easier 10 years ago. When I found my first property, I still placed 10, 15 offers when I found my first one with my 203K. It's, you know, and then, and then the banks that would accept my offer, they had all these stipulations like REOs aren't easy to work with, right? Banks are assholes. They're not real people. So they have like so many rules and regulations on what you have to do and what you have to say and everything like that. It's, it, there's, the grass isn't always greener, guys. This takes work. And I'm telling you right now, you pick two of these on this list. You don't have to do all five. You pick two of these and you commit to it for the next 30 days. I guarantee you will find deals. I guarantee it because here's the reality. Nobody does it. Nobody does it. Nobody is committing to it. They all say they're doing it, but they're not really putting in the work. Don't get mad at the results you didn't get for the work you didn't do, right? You can't be, if you are only pussy for you and placing an offer a month or, or, or an offer every two weeks, you can't get mad at the market. You're not trying. If, if you're saying you're getting beat out by cash offers. Okay. How many, the guys that have all cash, how many offers do you think they're making on MLS before they find something? They're making hundreds of offers. Okay. It's not easy for them either. All right. Is this helpful guys? Is this helpful? Hopefully this is helpful for all of you. So this is stuff we're, we're actively working on in my inner circle. If you're watching right now and you feel like you're ready to go, you want to, you want to get started. Um, you're just looking for a little extra help. Um, you know, obviously all these things we're talking about here are kind of high level, but you know, if you want to learn, like, what do I say to the seller? Like, how do I, how do I set that up? You know, what happens when I actually get something into contract? You know, exactly what do I say to them on the phone? Um, how do I lock up a deal off market? You know, what do I say in my mailers? What do I say on the phone? What are the scripts? You know, all those scripts and all those, those details of like really how to get creative and how we make all these things helpful. Um, if you're in my inner circle, we have a lot of you here. Um, shout out to, uh, shout out to Maki, Kevin, um, Racine. Um, we got a lot of guys already here. Destiny, we got a lot of people already here that are already part of the group. So, I mean, they're all here and they can attest to what, what we do uh, in the inner circle in the 203K mentorship. But, um, you know, we, this is just the high level, right? We get really into the nitty gritty. And listen, if you're looking for that extra help on, on analyzing the deals and making sure that's what that community is all about, if you're interested in that, go ahead and type launch in the comments. Myself or Austin for my team, we'll go ahead and reach out. We'll schedule a call and jump on with you and see if you're the right fit for this and see if you're in a position where you would really benefit from kind of getting launched uh, into this first deal um, using a lot of the different strategies and a lot of these strategies that we talked about here uh, tonight. So, uh, you know, I, I know we covered a lot tonight, but again, if you're, if you have any interest in, in kind of digging in a little more in this, let me know. If you want this in, in the form of a cheat sheet, go ahead and comment cheat sheet down below. Um, Austin or myself will send you the cheat sheet um, and we'll make sure that you get this so you can refer to it later. Um, also below are the links to the free trial. Um, free trial um, with 30 free mailers slash 100 skip traces. Um, and then prop stream, same thing, uh, seven day free trial. And I think it, it gives you like, um, you know, a discount or something like that. I don't know what it is. In the very least, guys, it helps me out. It's These are affiliate links. It helps me out. It helps me build this community. Um, you know, I, I get a little bit of a kickback from this. And, you know, it's not much, but every little bit helps and helps me do more of these live streams, continue to grow the group, build the content. 
do all that stuff. You know, this has been something that um, has become at a point where, you know, in order for me to continue doing this, um, you know, it's, it, it takes a lot of resources, right? I have a video guy, I have a content editor and stuff like that. So that all helps me pay for that and helps me give you guys more content like this. Garrett said, is this why I get 20 calls a week asking if I'm selling any of my properties? Garrett, it's because you're uh, it's because you're an older guy, man. That's be, that's why it is, you know. Uh, those senior lists get pummeled. My dad's included on that. But hey, listen, you know, the cool thing about this, guys, is that you have a little bit of a different thing. You're not just a cash investor, right? You know, you're you're someone that's a that's a person that's looking to move into this house, right? You're using the 203k strategy, you're looking to move into the neighborhood, and that's how you cut through that noise. Um, a lot of those callers that that are calling people like Garrett or people like my parents or whatever. They're very low effort. It's like using these cold calling companies. These are the guys that are doing it in mass. Remember, if you're doing it yourself, you're cutting through the noise because you're genuine. And that little, that little trick, that little difference really makes a big difference in all of this. All right. So listen, guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, comment below um, for any of those resources. Comment below if you're interested in learning how we can work together to really make this process you know, easier in terms of finding deals, making sure we analyze them the right way, making sure you make money on this transaction and not lose money um, and take advantage of everything that this, this, this program gives for you. Um, if there's anything I could help you with in the meantime, please let me know. We're still here. Use this group as a resource. Ask any questions you have. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you on the other side. And um, let me know any other uh, any other topics you want to see on future streams. All right, everyone. Um, everyone, take care. This replay will be up as a recording if you want to reference it later. And then the cheat sheet. Let me know. We'll show the cheat sheet down below, uh, or we'll, we'll I mean we'll send it over to you to anybody that comments cheat sheet down below. All right, everybody, have a great week. We will see you on the next one.